Shut up! Hello? Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Can I pick up my hat? Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. For what now? But take him in. Come on. What about the one on the roof? Fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. Huh? There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. Yeah. On your right here, these tobacco fields? Huh. This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Hmm. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Reckon that's done Interesting. So We're gonna bear left here. Okay. So I wonder if we can get them to play off each other. That's the gang, not two. Yeah. Uh, I, I'll do my best not to cause trouble. Still don't know who's the guy that we was helping. As soon as it's one of our guys. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Hmm. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Carry him over then. Hey, fellas. Howdy. Indeed. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. Now make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. Hmm. Edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, 
Uh, the Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Uh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like... We can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some sort. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, so much for fishing. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. <laughs> There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, I can fish. Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Okay. I mean, I kind of don't, I kind of want this mission to end, but I kind of want to see, had her baby, but died of you know, well, where this I goes. Me. I mean, yeah, obviously to fishing, but still. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still. And it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something. But his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Mm -hmm. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Craig? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. I like it. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. But sometimes more smartly than others. Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. That's... John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow, this carriage is... Very funny. This is the spot. Down to the left there. That carriage is annoying.
Oh, yeah, I just realised as well. Uh, got the train here. There's not much in terms of thing. Oh, there's. Ooh. I keep trying to look at the map for the treasure, but once again, I kind of need to wait. Whoa, horse, chill, Wendy. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. I'm moving up. Go on. Oh. Yes, over there on the shore. Looks pretty. Oh, there's some boats. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Uh, this one? All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Huh, push. <laughs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. That's... You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Okay. So how do I row? Stupid luck and good fish. That'll do too. Get us a bit deeper. Okay. It's not like um, sound hell controls for boats. We have to use each row, uh, each stick for a different row or whatever. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Don't be nervous. Sorry. You should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. Uh, oh. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What? What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Can't fish in the Birds other direction. Man. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Hmm. You got a bite. This is a bit awkward. That feels like a bite. Ha! Got ya! Maybe if you caught a fish, we'd stop teasing you. Shit! Got away. You got something biting, Arthur. Oh, there we go. Get it, get it. Okay. Fishing. Here we go. I think that's a bite. Uh, uh, Got yeah. one. Ah, I should have had that one. There, hooked him. So far, it's me and Dutch. And got him. Hey, look at this beauty. One. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. There we go. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, you do. He was maybe 20. 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then 
the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. You hooked him. I mean, got bite. Arthur's way is not a bad one. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing, mm -hmm. and we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Nice, you hooked him. So far, it's Remember going too bad. salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out and all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Now reel them in, Arthur. I know how to fish. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and huh. I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. Yeah. You can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. It's nice hearing little stories. And, you know, I'm kicking their ass in terms of amount of fish. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Just got to reel him in yeah. now, Arthur. Oh, rotating! Super quick! Intense rotation action! I didn't feel right to talk while they were talking. But now that they're not talking, I have to add the commentary of the super rotation. Done, Arthur. Thank you. That's what fifth fish now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Keeping that one, eh? Keeping them all. We keep going. Okay. Uh, do 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 do. Slowly rotate. Cause it looks like he's freaking out a bit there. Maybe he's got a bit of the shivers. You got a bite there, Boom. And rotate. So I wonder how long we do this for. Cause. You know, just wondering. Is he gonna struggle again? Are we gonna get him in time? Whew. Uh, 
uh, keep. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. That's it. We done? And equip fishing rod. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You oh. ain't been chasing down outlaws. Okay. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could Let's... be useful. What about the horses? Oh, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um. All right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I passed her by. Tater got burned and so did I. Mm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we need three poor mariners to leak up from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round around? Shall we go dance this round and round around? Hey, that is a bully boy from Pledge Me on this round and round and round. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain. But we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round and round and round. To them we dance this round and round and round. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of ground. We should not let the folks back in camp think we had too much fun. Indeed not. <laughs> What's the point of me buying the other boat? <laughs> You're just gonna steal this one. Yeah, oh well. I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Enjoy. I'll give these fish to Pearson. And I am going to check the mission. Uh Wow. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Let's see. Got some spawn uh Strauss mission and a Pearson mission. Have anything else around? Uh, the greys. Uh, why is this color different? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the gangs. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What's what do up? you want? Don't be like that. Uh, 
just a just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Well, well I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Bye. That's. <laughs> You spoken a Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. You're lucky he made me come for you. Maybe I couldn't have done Dutch's mission without getting Mitch. I don't know. <sighs> Either way, I think it's I think it's sleepy times. Ah, uh, till morning. That was like a plan. 